you are watching The Daily on Shaw TV Channel 4, I'm Kate Bergen. This is the Tozan Kiln at Tamagawa University in Yellow Point. We're going to find out more about the firing that's going on right now on this edition of The Daily. Also in the lineup, Arts Now, Dream Homes. We're going to meet a Walmart greeter. We're also going to give you some insight into how you can maybe help your allergies if you suffer from allergies. There are some natural remedies. Karen Elgersma would help us with that. But first, some laughter. Who says I don't love my job? This was a pretty fun story to do. You are watching The Daily on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Bergen and today we are at the Tozen Kiln. There's a firing going on right now and it's actually just at the tail end of it. What process are we at right now with this kiln? We are at the finishing stages. We are just trying to get it to our final high temperature. You had mentioned it's about 2100 degrees right now. How does that compare to, to a sort of a regular kiln firing? Uh, we would like to see about 2350. Yeah, in Fahrenheit degrees, uh, that's about cone 10, cone 12, and that's about where we'd like to go. What is significant about a Tozan kiln? Why is it such a big deal? There's people camped out here, um, there's picnics, there's campfires. You do this because you love it. Why? Because we love it. Um, it's a big social thing. Most of us work in studios by ourselves and make our pots in little kilns, um, and we spend most of our time by ourselves. Uh, we also cannot um, have any sort of big kiln like this and produce this, this, this kind of smoke. Um, which is not good in our neighborhoods usually. Um, and it's a social occasion and it's a unique, traditional, time-honored way. They've been making pots like this for 5,000 years. The smoke is maybe not a good thing in neighborhoods, but smoke is very good for the results in the pottery. What does the smoke do to the art? Uh, the, uh, the smoke is just a byproduct of the burning of the wood, and the burning of the wood is glazing our pots as it fires. When you burn wood, there is the ash that's burnt and, and wafts through the kiln. It lands on the pots and melts, and that glazes the pots. I know pottery is a bit like uh, opening a Christmas present, not knowing oh, yeah. exactly sure what you're going to get. That's even more so with oh, the toes yeah. in. Way better, way better. Hundreds of them, hundreds of pots. <laughs> <laughs> when we open them, we bring the pots out and place them on tables that are spread out here. And we have a line that the pot is passed from person to person. And that's commonly called the fondle line because each pot is fondled and handled and oohed and awed over. And it's very a lot of fun. What, what is a trademark of a, a Tozan fired pot compared to a more standard kiln? Can, can you look at it and see the difference? Oh, yeah, too. Uh, yes, you can. Um, you will see that the flame has painted it. You will see on the fire side of your pot, you will see more ash deposited on the pot, and you will see it curl around um, to the lee side where it'll be quite dry, and it should be depending on how much ash is deposited, you will have a certain amount of shine or not, um, depending on where it was and how much it got. The, the fire flows through the pots while it's firing, and when it hits, each time it hits a pot, it leaves a, a mark. Less control from the artist, really. Oh, yeah, yeah. Throw control out the window. There is no control. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I think when when people have allergies, they can feel out of control too. We have some natural remedies coming up from Karen Elgersma, but first we're going to check in with a guy whose positive attitude is inspiring. You are watching The Daily on Shaw TV Channel 4. The Tozan Kiln here at Tamagawa University in Yellow Point is under firing. Things are getting pretty hot. Where there is smoke, there is definitely fire, and that's what it's all about when it comes to firing in the Tozan Kiln. You want flames, you want heat, you want mystique when you take the pots out? Absolutely. More, more stuff. What is, what is very, this was moved, this Tozan Kiln spent about 10 years on the VIU campus. Um, it's been moved here about five years ago. How's the location working out? Very good, very good. It's terrific. It's out in the country. It's a fantastic location. Wasn't an easy task. 30,000 bricks? Oh, 60 to 70,000 bricks, seven pounds each, all had to be taken apart, cleaned, put on pallets, loaded, brought out here, unloaded, and a new kiln designed by a bunch of people who all have different opinions. <laughs> <laughs> now there was a designer of this particular kiln. There's another one similar in Arizona. 
man named Yukio Yamamoto um, resurrected the Tozan design, which was, hmm, to my knowledge, built in, in Japan and went out of service in the 17-something. Um, and he resurrected that. He built one in Arizona, and uh, one of our uh, the founding member of the society, Les Beardsley, uh, went to a workshop there and was caught up in the drama and dream and convinced them to come to Tananaimo and build another one. It really is um, going back to the roots of, of pottery, how it started and the original way in this case is the best. Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> you don't agree? <laughs> well, no, absolutely. It, it's Maybe it, not best, it's just different. It's labor-intensive, um, which is not um, economically feasible for most situations today. Uh, it's you can you know most pottery is significantly cheaper uh, to produce, um, and the ones sold in the chain stores, it, it's not that's manufactured and um, mass produced is you know produced at way less labor and therefore less cost. There's about 20 art artists represented here. There's about 200, 250 pieces in the kiln right now. Some pretty high caliber artists oh, enjoy absolutely. putting their work in. There are quite world famous people that have world stuff here. Um, I'm not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, whether Robert gets $500 for any of his pieces of pottery or not is yet to be seen, but there's about $1,000 worth of wood going into this firing of the kiln. About four to five cords of wood, seven days. I'm gonna see if they'll let me put a piece in. In the meantime, here's Alexander Stewart. It's Arts Now. Gotta be quick, they're actually letting me do this. This is awesome. One at a time, is that okay? Two more. <laughs> That's it for this edition of the Daily. Woo!